The West Coast bunch is what I consider to be the fundamental bunch offense that is really good every single year. And in this video, I wanted to do uh, just a little breakdown on this and kind of explain route spacing and why I think the West Coast bunch is uniquely positioned to be a really good bunch next year because of what it can do in terms of just attacking the entire field with this formation. Now, if you want to get my entire West Coast Bunch offensive ebook or any of my ebooks for Madden or college football, you can get access to all of them by becoming a member of our school.com community page. The link to sign up for that's going to be in the description. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of the ebooks for both games, as well as all of the updates. So you always have the most up to date version of whatever it is you want to run. Now, for this little mini scheme here, what we're going to do is we're going to set deep attack in our audibles, stick in our audibles, verticals and corner strike. These are the main uh, bread and butter plays. If you wanted to put deep corner in here, you could, but I think corner strike is, is, is really the better play. And we're going to be basing out of the play mesh post. Now, the way we're going to run this offense is essentially through high-lowing the user in the middle of the field. It's going to be really good for double Mabel defenses. It's going to be really good for cover four, all that kind of stuff. So let's just show you uh, what we're going to do here, we're just going to streak the slot. We're going to block the running back, and this is the setup right here. Now, you don't have to motion this post route out. If you want extra spacing, you can motion this guy out. You don't have to. And I want to just cover what's going to happen. So as you see here, the yellow zones are going to back up, and then you can throw this little drag route underneath of the yellow zones. So what this forces is it forces the user to shade underneath. Now, the user is going to sit down on the drag, and so what we're going to do is we're going to look to throw that post right in here. Before he gets across the numbers, we're going to throw this post kind of right at the numbers, and essentially we're creating a high-low in the middle of the field. Now, the rest of this route combination is, um, is going to be designed to take advantage of the user. So let's say the user... A lot of times this year is using on the right side of the of the formation. So you see here, he's going to go to the drag, which means we can just take the post. What this play does, what every good Madden play does, is it creates a high-low read. And typically what you're trying to do is really high-low the user. If the user goes here, I go there. If the user goes there, I go here. So in this example here, he's going to go up the seam, and it's going to leave this middle of the field open, for this drag. Now, I wanted to kind of deep dive into this drag route and explain why this drag route is as good as it is. So, let's say that the user is going to be on the solo side, and let's say he goes to the post. If the user does that, what you're going to notice is that we can throw this drag in this left side kind of hook curl area of the field against, against the opponent. The other thing that we can do is let's say, you know, let's say that we get like a three wreck over the middle of the field, right? We don't get a lot of these coverages, but let's just say for sake of illustration, we get a three wreck here and then the user goes up the, up the vertical to circle and then we're just going to, you know, kind of run our play. So what you're going to see is we look to the flat always first, not there. You can wait till he passes that three wreck and gets more into that right side hook curl area of the field as well. So hopefully you're kind of catching what they're going to have to do to stop the drag. They're going to have to have four underneath flat zones. For example, if they don't have, like let's say they have a, a hook curl, but they don't have a hard flat defender, what we can do here right off rip is we can just look out here, throw it, and just catch it right off rip just like that. Just a simple snap throw. So this requires the defense to have to have four underneath zones devoted to defending the underneath. So then if they do that, oftentimes this post is going to be open. Now, the one defense that is going to be able to defend this well is going to be something like a cover two or a cover three with two yellows. So you see here, I'm going to have two yellow zones, and then my user is going to take the post. Okay, very simple defense, but just, just kind of what's going to have to happen. So... Again, they use the post. You see these yellow zones coming underneath, and now we got to fit a throw. As you can see, it's a tight window throw. So how do we manipulate the defense once they start to bring the yellow zones underneath and play more of that cover three hard flat, that cover two type coverage? 
The easiest way to manipulate cover three in this game is really two methods, but essentially just high lowing the outside. So mesh post is essentially a high low in the middle of the field. And then the play stick is going to be a high low on the outside. Now there are two ways to run this play. The first way is to just put the slot receiver on a streak and have the high low be between this short corner and this tight end. As you can see, a very effective way to do it. Another method to running this play, which will still be really good against wide side dollar or running our bunch to the wide side, is the double corner where we use a slot apprentice corner on a slot receiver, streak our tight end, and drag our solo. So we still have that drag coming all the way across that they're going to have to account for, but now we have a high low on that flat defender as opposed to high lowing them in the middle of the field. A little bit more difficult to user that right side of the screen. So that's how we're going to utilize stick. And then what's ultimately going to start to happen is they're going to start calling cover two. So our counter to cover two is going to be corner strike. And as you'll see here, this corner is going to get over the top of the outside cloud really, really well. And again, we're just creating um, essentially a different variation of a high low read on it left side. Now, the next setup that I want to show you, I think is a super underrated setup. And this is going to kind of come back to something that I think a lot of people are doing right now where they're going to blitz five and they're going to put this guy in a yellow. And then if they do see double corner, they're going to go guard it, but they're going to essentially try to put some pressure behind it. So this is where we're going to go to verticals. And, this, and the way we're going to run this play first is we can just put the running back on a simple out route. And what you'll see here is if there's not a flat defender, this out route is going to eat that alive, and you can just throw your flat route. Now, what I like to do is in a perfect world, let's say you have like hot route master, right, or you just have some apprentices. Another really good way to run this play would be to utilize a running back table route and a slot apprentice post. The reason why is because we have quick hitting routes on the right side that will beat the blitz, and then we have this basically high-low read to the bunch side, which is really, really good for forcing a, a flat defender on that left side. Now, another way that we can utilize corner strike is also by high-lowing that left side. And the way we do that is we'd go to corner strike, we would drag our tight end, streak our slot receiver, and then you could either leave the play like you see on your screen, or you could motion this guy out on an in route, and then you can put the running back on a wheel. What's going to happen is against cover four, cover three, this C route is going to get open in that deep left side area of the field, which is going to start to cause all kinds of problems. And ultimately what's going to happen is with this offense, when you start to attack the sidelines, you're going to see that your opponent is going to go back into this double flat. And when they go back into this double flat, we are then going to continue high lowing them in the middle of the field with the play deep attack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna streak our slot, drag our tight end, and then just motion this little in route outside and let him set his feet. The, the streak's gonna clear all the space. The yellow zones can either stay underneath and you can throw that post over the middle of the field or the user can bail back to the post. Now what oftentimes is gonna happen is once they start to see that this is the play that you're running, they are gonna bail to the post. So the way that would look is oftentimes, again, they're gonna be on that left side so the tight end is going to, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let me show you the play again. The tight end is going to act as a clear out for the first yellow zone. And then the backside in route is going to be super open. So again, they're going to take away kind of that, that post. And what you're going to see is this clear out streak is going to clear space. This comes wide open right here. And then you're able to juke up field and get some easy yardage. So what this does is it's just simply using post routes to high, create high-low reads in the middle of the field. Another way that we can accomplish this really, really easily is through mesh post and utilizing a hitch, a drag to the tight end, and a streak to the solo. This is another method that I really like. We're still able to get a lot of protection, and we're able to threaten that hard flat on the bunch side or the solo side, which a lot of people don't throw that route. So if you think about what this does practically, again, we're just saying like, you know, if they're using these defenders, this guy is the defender in conflict. They have to go to the post with their user. 
when they do go to the post with their user, then what we're able to do here with this simple mesh post setup is we can playmaker this, this hitch or just throw it right in the middle of the field and just keep the ball moving offensively. So as you can see, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why this formation is really good. And these are some of the main plays and, and the ability to attack every single area on the field from the same exact formation, from the same exact look is really what makes Bunch one of the best offenses of all time. You have the play stick and you can run stick in multiple ways. You have the play mesh post, you can run mesh post in multiple ways. Um, and then you also have deep attack. You have corner strike, deep corner we didn't even get into. And we have wide receiver post, which we didn't even get into as well. But in general, these are some of the best ways to create different types of high lows that are going to stress the defense and get your receivers wide open. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get access to all of the full offensive and defensive ebooks, those links will be available by clicking the link down in the description.